Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So in this video, you're gonna tell me which light bulbs will light up in series in parallel circuits. So let's go ahead and try our first one. So here we have a circuit. We have light bulb A and light bulb B. You're just telling me which ones will light up. You can go ahead and pause it and I'm gonna show you the answer in a second. All right, let's look at our answer. So they were both going to be lighting up. This is a series circuit. And if you can tell, we have no breaks or gaps in our circuit and our switch is closed. Therefore, current will flow and they will both light up. Let's try another one. Go ahead and pause it. And let's check out our answer. So in this case, none of them are gonna light up because we have an open switch, which just means that uh, there's a gap in our circuit or a break, right? and electrons cannot flow, so there will be no current flowing in the circuit, therefore none of the light bulbs will light up. Let's try another one. All right, this time we're doing a parallel circuit. Think about your answer, you can pause it. Okay, let's check it out. So, they are all in fact going to be lighting up. This is a parallel circuit, and um, if you see our battery, it goes around and every single branch has a closed um, circuit, right? So we have a closed switch over here. Everything's gonna be receiving electricity, so they will all in fact turn on. Let's try another one. All right, let's go ahead and look at the answer. This one might've been tricky, right? We're, get, we're kinda getting into some more tricky ones. Uh, we do have our battery over here, which means that this one, uh, light bulb A, will receive current flow because there's no breaks in our current, in our circuit. But if we go around to light bulb B, you can see that we have an open switch here, so it's a gap or a break in our, in our circuit. So electrons cannot flow to get to light bulb B, which also means it cannot flow to get to light bulb C. I just wanna remind you that current can only flow from negative to positive in the electron flow, right? Um, because of this, we cannot go backwards or side by side or like zigzag or so we can't have electrons flow through here and then go this way. Okay, we can't go positive to negative, only negative to positive. All right, let's try another one. Go ahead and pause it and take a look at it. All right, let's look at the answer. So our answer is none of them will light up. And here's why. If we start at the negative end of our battery and we go around, we immediately come to an open switch or a gap in our circuit. Therefore, we can never make it to branch, um, the branch that has light bulb A or the branch that has light bulb B. Therefore, electricity will not be flowing. There will be no current flow at all and no light bulbs will light up. Let's try another one. Okay, go ahead and pause it. And let's look at our answer. So you can see here, this is our battery. So if we come out the negative end and around, we definitely can make it through the branch that has light bulb A and it has a closed switch. Therefore, electrons will flow. If we go to um, the branch that has light bulb B, this has an open switch. So electricity is not gonna flow because this is a, a break or a gap in our circuit. So it can keep going to um, the branch that light bulb C is on because this is a closed switch and it can make it fully back around to the positive terminal with no breaks or openings. All right, let's try another one. And let's go ahead and look at the answer. So in this case, light bulb A and B will be the only ones that light up. So here's why. If we start at the negative end of our terminal, and if we go around, you can see that in order to get over here for light bulb D, we would need to come back around but we have an open switch. Therefore, electricity is not gonna go on the branch that light bulb D is on. However, electricity can flow all the way through the branch that light bulb A is on because it has a closed switch and make it around to the positive end of the terminal. If we look again um, at the current flow for the branch that light bulb B is on, it also has a closed switch. Therefore, it can make it back around to that positive terminal and if we go again for light bulb C, you can see that we reach a break in our circuit, which is an open switch. So it cannot flow on that branch. So only A and B will receive current flow to be able to turn on. Try this one out. And let's go over the answer. 
So in this case, only light bulb A will be lighting up. You can see that if we leave out the negative end of our battery and we go through um, the branch that has light bulb A, it does not have any breaks in our circuit, therefore current will be able to flow. Uh, but if we go back around to the branch that has light bulb B, you can see by the time we're trying to make it to the positive end of the terminal, we're reaching this open switch. Therefore, electricity cannot flow on the branch that has light bulb B. And look, if we do go the same thing for the branch that has light bulb C, we still have to make it back around over here to the positive terminal and electrons cannot flow where there is a gap or an opening in our circuit. So therefore, only light bulb A would be lighting up. All right, and take a look at this one. Let's go ahead and go over the answer. So if you can see, this is really just a series circuit. They've added these superfluous wires to the end over here. There's no load or anything attached to them. So they're just wires we don't really need. We could turn this into a parallel circuit by adding a load over here, but since there's not one, they're just extra wires. Um, if you can see our series circuit is really over here and it has a closed switch and no gaps in, in our circuit, Therefore, all of the light bulbs would indeed light up. I hope this was really helpful, you guys, to understanding circuits. Thank y'all so much. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you learned something today. And if you need help with circuits a little bit more, I have plenty of videos on them. Go ahead and check them out. Thanks everybody, bye.